G'day, welcome to Tech Talk and Beer video review. Today I'll be showing you a Mozilla Firefox add-on called Fire Gestures, which allows you to navigate through the browser and perform some other functions in the browser using only your mouse, uh, so you don't have to use the keyboard at all. Uh, what it does allow you to do is, uh, once you've mastered uh, all the diff different gestures, you can work your way through the browser quite fast without actually touching the keyboard. I'll show you how to install the add-on. Just go to the Tools menu at the top, then click on Add-ons. This will give you a list of currently installed add-ons in your Firefox. Just click Get Add-ons. And then just do a search in the search box there for Fire Gestures. The first result should be Fire Gestures. Click Add to Firefox. And then once, it's, uh, once it comes up, just click on Install Now. After installing uh, an add-on, it will require you to restart Firefox. Just click on the restart button, it should bring you back to the screen where we just were. So I'll just take you into some of the options uh, of the Fire Gestures. So click on Fire Gestures, then click on Options. This will show you what the currently what the preset options or what the preset gestures are. Now you'll be able to do most of your navigation uh, through the browser using the preset. Uh, the, the preset gestures. Now if you look in the the name column here will will give you the title of what the gesture is and what basically what it does. The gesture itself will either be L, R, U or D meaning left, right, up, down or combinations thereof. So for example uh, to, to, to kick off the gesture you click the right mouse button and then move the mouse in the direction uh, that the gesture is signifying there. So for to go back, you would hold the right, right mouse button down and move the mouse to the left. To go forward, you'd do the same thing, moving the mouse to the right. To refresh the page or reload the page, you would hold the right mouse button down, go up, down, uh, for example, to, uh, and you know, for this one, for example, to, to open a new window, you would go down, right, and up. So let's uh, we'll have a few examples of that. <coughs> I'll uh, just click cancel on that and close that window. Now I'll just navigate uh, to a web page. Let's do a search for Tech Talk and Beer. Okay, so if we wanted to open up Tech Talk and Beer in a new tab up the top here, but we wanted to continue looking through the search results, uh, the gesture for that is just um, down on the link itself. So hold down the right mouse button and swipe down. And you can see when you make a gesture, it actually draws a, a green line. So from the moment you hit the right mouse button, it'll draw a green line. Uh, that is a customizable line. You can customize the thickness and the color of that. But also down the, the bottom left-hand side of the screen in the status bar, it will show you what the gesture is, it, how it's identifying the current gesture. So for example, uh, if I hold down the right mouse button and move it to the right, you can see there it's picked up that I've moved it to the right and that the current command for that is to go forward. Uh, if we continue the gesture, if we go up, it has identified that I've gone up as well, so it's gone right and then up, and the command for that is to open all links in the selection. Uh, if, we can, if we continue, go left, right, up, left, it, there's nothing after that, so it has, doesn't actually have a command assigned to right, up, and left. So if uh, we go down, open link in new background tab which is the gesture we performed up here on the top result of Tech Talk and Beer. If we wanted to uh, open in background tab means it, it opens it up but it, it keeps the current tab in focus and doesn't change the tab to that. So if you're performing a search you can sit here and open up multiple results in, in tabs at the top here while continuing to look at your, your search results. So if we go like this what we're doing is opening up all of these links up the top here and we can go ahead and read those uh, when, we're, when we're ready. Now let's just click on the first result here and just if we navigate through a few a few of the pages here now if, if we wanted to go back uh, rather than going up here and clicking the back button you can just right, uh, use the right mouse button and move back take you straight back to the previous page if we want to go forward again do it the opposite way so there's, they're just some of the main gestures that you can use. Uh, you can also navigate different through the different tabs or close close the tab by going down and right. 
if you go down and left it will sa save the current image as or save the current page as so you can save the, the image to your computer so we can save that Apple iPad image somewhere uh, if you want to go to the previous tab it's up and left or if you want to go to the next tab it's up and right okay so there's just a few different uh, a few of the different gestures available uh, by by default in the fire gestures add-on you can create your own as well um, we'll go into that uh, at another time and don't forget for more video reviews and tech articles uh, please visit our website techtalkandbeer.com thanks for watching